Hey, what's up, everyone? Strike here. I just thought I'd come at you with another Batman Arkham Knight topic. Um, and this one is about the Scarecrow. Now, believe it or not, Scarecrow is the main villain of Batman Arkham Knight. We didn't even get to see him in the trailer, but he is in the he is the main villain in the game because after the death of the Joker in Arkham City, uh, the Scarecrow decides that it's um, time to take out the Batman. And what he does now that the Joker's gone is he forms an alliance with all of Batman's major enemies. Like in the cinematic trailer, we saw Two-Face, Penguin, and Harley Quinn working together. And uh, not only has Scarecrow um, uh, helped these uh, enemies of Batman to join forces, but he also has perfected his um, fear toxin enough to threaten the city of Gotham with it in order for them to evacuate so they can pretty much take over the city get Batman give Batman their full attention and then or get Batman's full attention and take him out basically that is basically the premise of Batman Arkham Knight and uh, this is like again this is just a t video topic about what the Scarecrow has been up to since we last saw him in Arkham Asylum now, he was a major part in Arkham Asylum. There were three fear missions that you had to do to avoid Scarecrow and then take him out. And then, after the last one, you chase him into the sewers where, um, uh, he is, uh, you know, um, taken out by Croc. Now, he's not dead because, um, for some, pe for some reason people think that Killer Croc actually ate him. But one of the endings to the Arkham Asylum game after the credits is there's one out of one out of three of the endings is uh, Scarecrow's hand popping up and grabbing a th container of Titan. Now the container of Titan is kind of interesting because um, I'm sorry. Uh, I was too it's weird because um, in one of them Bane just grabs it and the other one is Killer Croc. And that's kind of interesting because Bane in Arkham City actually dealt with Titan again because he collected it and basically tried to keep it all for himself. But if you've played the side mission, you know what happens with that. And um, it's kind of interesting to think that uh, Killer Croc and Scarecrow would grab a hold onto it. Now, you could just say that they've grabbed a hold of it, you know, just to come up to, like, the land or something. But it is also a possibility that Scarecrow may be incorporating Titan into his fear toxin somehow. That's just a thought that literally came across my mind as I was recording this. But just a, just food for thought or whatever. Um, next is that he had a huge... whether He wasn't exactly a huge part in Arkham City, but he did have a pretty strong presence there. There is a barge in... Um, I believe it's the industrial district or the amusement mile of Arkham City where you'll find Scarecrow's mask on top of a, like, some sort of a weird bridge thing. And then if you glide down, there's a little barge, and you land on top of it, and you do your cryptographic sequencer on top of it, and you have codes that you unlock. When you unlock the codes, there's a little surprise inside, basically what Jonathan Crane has been working on while he's been reported missing. And there is an Arkham City story that talks about, you know, like, where Scarecrow, Batman's... Batman believes him still to be alive and stuff. So that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, if you didn't also know, uh, during Protocol 10, there are certain sections of Arkham City, uh, mainly near, uh, once again, Amusement Mile and the Industrial District, and maybe even a little bit of Park Row. I'm not too sure. But, um... There is a, uh, there are a couple of Scarecrow thugs, or at least they're thought to be Scarecrow thugs, in brown, like, uniforms, like, I, I believe they're dead around, um, like, the building where you fight Bane in, and the Krenko Toy Factory building, and, like, there's one over on the Gotham Casinos building, over by, kind of by the GCPD, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. He's had thugs running around Arkham City. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy to think 
that Scarecrow, um, you know, is gonna come back for Arkham Knight, finally, after not even getting any of him in Origins, and, you know, seeing what he's been up to, kind of, in Arkham City, seeing this little behind-the-scenes things unofficially, is kind of cool, and, um... Another uh, interesting thing to think about is what kind of gameplay features we'll have in Arkham Knight. Now, once again, in Arkham, si uh, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, he had fear missions, basically, where you're Batman. Scarecrow has uh, done, or Scarecrow has drugged you with a little bit of his fear toxin, and you are in this crazy world of, with floating pieces of the Arkham Asylum and you're running around and you're trying to basically avoid Scarecrow at all costs which is kind of crazy um, but yeah this is gonna be really cool because um, I, I'm just kinda curious oh you do do that three times throughout the game like I mentioned earlier but something I've been kinda curious uh, thinking about is um if he's going to have the same kind of gameplay features in the new game, Batman Arkham Knight, or if Rocksteady's going to switch it up and, you know, bring on, bring some new stuff to the table, which is also a possibility. But if we do get classic Scarecrow fear missions, or at least one, I'm going to be very excited and it's going to feel almost nostalgic, and that's something I'm definitely looking forward to. But also another thing I have to think about is if he's going to have a new suit in Arkham Knight. Because, as I mentioned earlier again, his mask from Arkham Asylum is found on top of like this bridge thing um, in Arkham City. Under like, or above a bale of like hay. And does he lose that mask forever? Does he have another one? Will he be having a new suit in this game? Only time will tell. Uh, hopefully soon we'll get a um, not not exactly a gameplay trailer, but at least another trailer for Arkham Knight. We have the cinematic trailer. Uh, you know, last year when we had the Arkham Origins cinematic trailer, I don't think we got another uh, trailer for the game until like E3, which is usually in June, I believe. So hopefully we'll be getting an E3 trailer. For that, we'll be getting a release or a reveal of the Arkham Knight Collector's Edition, which I'm really excited for. I have two out of the other three, two out of the three uh, Collector's Editions um, that are currently out, but I'm going to wait personally for the Collector's Edition to come out. And uh, I'm also expecting PS4 to have um, exclusive DLC content like the PS3 has in the past. Um, not like it matters, because I'm most likely going to, going to be getting it for um, PS4 anyway, just because the PS4 would be cheaper. I do not have a PS4 at the moment, but I will be getting a new gen console for the sake of this game. So yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have for my topic of the Scarecrow in Arkham Knight. Once again, he's pretty much the main villain. Um, hopefully they don't pull a black mask from Arkham Origins and just give us this stupid big reveal, like, you know, somehow bring the Joker back to life and all that stuff. That would be kind of stupid, but no, I really do hope Scarecrow is 100% the main villain. Because once again, Arkham Asylum was Joker's game. And then, you know, because he's the main villain who participated in that. Technically, the main villain in the game of Arkham City is uh, Hugo Strange. He's, he's kind of the mastermind behind the whole Arkham City thing. So, technically, he's the main villain, main antagonist of the game. But then again, Joker is a huge part in that game as well. So, some people might argue that Joker is the main villain of that game uh, once again. And then there's our origins that was originally leading to leading us to believe that Joker wasn't going to be the main villain and Black Mask was. But if you've played the game, you know what happens and you know that that's a lie. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have. Like, once again, I really hope Scarecrow is 100% the main villain 
of this game. And I might do a video soon about Joker's, um, Joker being in this game at all. Uh, the only way I'm going that can I can relate Joker to this video is bringing him back in a Scarecrow hallucination. That would be the only way to justify the return of, um, uh, you know, the, the Joker, really. So that's ba basically all I have for the Scarecrow again. I'm going to try to end the video for sure this time. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video in the very least, please do me a huge favor and like, comment, favorite, whatever, and subscribe for more Batman Arkham Knight news. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Toodles. Ready.